Something I really enjoy doing is pushing iOS to its limits in terms of customization. A couple of years ago, it was custom icons and transparent widgets. Then later on, it was custom wallpapers that hid the dock and icons with invisible backgrounds. But just recently, I've discovered a whole new world of opportunity thanks to iOS 15's built-in focus modes. The idea with this feature, at least from Apple's perspective, is to minimize distractions by limiting notifications. But what's cool is that you can actually create custom focus modes with custom settings. And the one setting within each of these focus modes that really intrigued me was this home screen section, which allows you to select specific home pages that will only show when a selected focus mode is on. The idea is to place less distracting apps on these specific home pages, but for me, I started wondering whether I could use this to instead create alternate versions of home screen setups that could then activate automatically. And you can. And with a bit of tinkering, I've now managed to create a beautiful light home screen setup that is activated throughout the day that then switches automatically to a beautiful dark home screen setup at night. And not only does this change the icons, but as you can see, it also changes the wallpaper and turns the system dark mode on as well. If you want to see how to recreate the rest of this setup, then you can find that video up in the cards and down in the description below. But this video is all about setting up the focus mode and shortcuts automation. And that's what does all the heavy lifting when it comes to getting our setup to switch automatically. So without further ado, get comfortable and let's dive in. Now, first things first, to get this to work properly, you'll need to actually set up your two different home screens to look however you want them to look once all is said and done. Again, this entire process is covered in that setup tutorial video linked below. But as you can see, I've got two pages here ready to go. They're actually kind of duplicates of one another with the exact same widget and icon layout. However, as you can probably see on this second page, the icons do not match the background. And that's because they instead match the wallpaper I'll be using when the dark theme is activated. So if you haven't yet set up your home screens, then I suggest doing that first, although you could technically do it after the process is complete as well. We then want to long press our home screen, then tap the little dots down here and disable whichever page is going to be the one that activates when our focus mode is on. So for me, this will be the second page that has the different icon background. So I'll go ahead and uncheck that one. Then we'll tap done. And as you can see, I now only have this one home page remaining. From here, I'll navigate into the settings app and come down and tap on focus. Then I'll tap the plus icon up here and select custom. For me, I'm gonna name this dark mode and then change the icon to gray and set the icon to this sun setting. And then I'll tap on next. Now, technically these focus modes are meant for reducing notifications. However, I don't really want that to happen whenever my dark mode is on. So I'll need to tap and add pretty much everyone in my contact list, or at least as many as I can be bothered doing, and also select the allow calls option and change this to everyone. Then I'll tap allow, and now I need to select which apps I also want to allow notifications for, which again for me is pretty much every app. For this video, I'm gonna skip ahead, but I highly recommend taking the time to do this properly so that you're not inadvertently missing important notifications just for the sake of a home screen. So I'll then hit allow and then done. Then I wanna tap on home screen and enable the custom pages toggle and select just that second page that I want to be activated when this focus mode is on. I'll then hit done, then head back. And the last thing I wanna do is tap this option here that says add schedule or automation. And then I'm gonna set mine to switch on at 9 p.m. and then off at 7 a.m. All right, with all of that done, we're now ready to move on to setting up our changing wallpapers. To do this, we'll actually need to add a third party shortcut to the shortcuts application, which is called light or dark wallpaper. And like everything else mentioned throughout this video, I've of course left a link to that shortcut below. All you need to do is open up that link and tap on get shortcut, then add shortcut, and then it'll get automatically loaded onto the My Shortcuts page. Now, in order for this shortcut to work, you'll need to set up two separate albums in the photo gallery application, one called day, the other called night, and then place the wallpapers you want for the light or dark mode into their respective folders. You can see I've already completed this process. So I've got this wallpaper called June in my night folder, and this one called lemon, lime and bitters in my day folder. And if you like the look of these wallpapers, they're actually from a brand new wallpaper pack I've just released called Brush. And what's really cool about this pack is that I've created a version of each backdrop that will hide the dock on iOS. 
There are seven wallpapers that'll work with the light theme activated, as well as eight that'll work with the dark theme activated. And I made sure that they all worked for this particular automatic theme switching functionality. So if you wanna pick them up, then I've of course got them linked below. But with your chosen wallpapers sitting in their respective day and night albums, if we then come back and open up the shortcuts application, the last thing we need to do here is tap to open up the light or dark wallpaper shortcut settings, then tap on this first instance where it says recent and change this to day. Then we need to change the second instance of the word recent and this time change it to night. With that done, I can then tap to run the shortcut, then tap on always allow, and it will check what theme is activated, and then it'll change the wallpaper accordingly. So if we come back home, the wallpaper hasn't changed because it was already set correctly, but let's switch dark mode on real quick, then open up the shortcuts app, tap the light or dark wallpaper shortcut, come back home, and now our wallpaper has changed. How cool is that? Just for good measure, I'm gonna switch the dark mode off again, then open up shortcuts and run that shortcut again, just to make sure it works the other way around. And as you can see, it does. Now that's all well and good and you could leave it as is, but we're not yet utilizing that focus mode that we set up. So let's take things a little further. So we'll open up the shortcuts application again, and this time we'll navigate over to the automation menu. We'll then tap the plus icon up here and select create personal automation. Then it will scroll down to the focus section and select that dark focus mode that we created moments ago. We'll leave this as when turning on, then tap next, and here we need to add our first action. So we'll tap add action and then search for appearance. We'll then select the set appearance option that shows up, and if it isn't already, just make sure that this first option is set to turn, and then the second option is set to dark. With that done, we'll then tap to search for a new action, and this time we'll search for shortcuts and select run shortcut. We'll then tap where it says shortcut and select the light or dark wallpaper shortcut that we just downloaded. We can then tap on next and disable this toggle here that says ask before running, and then we can hit done. So let's look at what this is doing. We've created an automation that triggers automatically whenever that custom focus mode we created gets turned on. And in that automation, the dark theme gets turned on and then the shortcut that checks what theme we're set to and applies the wallpaper accordingly, it'll get run automatically. So essentially that should mean all three of those actions will take place whenever we turn on that focus mode we created called dark mode. And because that focus mode is set up to automatically turn on at a specific time of night, the entire process can actually happen automatically and ideally without us even realizing. But now we need to create a second automation that basically reverses the first one. So we'll close that and head back. Then again, we'll tap the plus icon up here, select create personal automation, and then scroll down and select the dark focus mode. We then need to change this to when turning off. And then again, we can tap next. We'll again tap add action, then search for appearance. And as with before, we'll select the set appearance option that shows up, but then we need to change this from dark to light. We can then once again tap to search for a new action, search for shortcuts and select run shortcut. Then we'll tap where it says shortcut and once again select the light or dark wallpaper shortcut. Finally, we'll tap on next, disable the ask before running toggle and then hit done. So this automation will instead trigger when that custom focus mode is turned off. And when that happens, it'll switch the theme to light. Then again, run the light or dark wallpaper shortcut, therefore changing our wallpaper accordingly. You still with me? But so technically, that is all you need to do in order to have your home screen set up and wallpaper change automatically based on that focus mode schedule. However, for me, there are times when perhaps I'm heading to bed a bit earlier or it's gloomy outside in the morning. And so I wanna be able to also quickly toggle the theme change manually. Now I could of course just swipe into my control center, tap where it says focus and then turn on dark mode automatically, but that's one too many swipes and taps for me. And so instead, I'm actually gonna create another shortcut that I can then place on my home screen. If you wanna do this as well, all you need to do is open the shortcuts application, make sure you're on the My Shortcuts page and then tap the plus icon up here. We'll give the shortcut a name, so I'll type in change theme so it's very clear. Then with that done, I'll tap on add action. I'll then search for device and select the scripting option that comes up called get device details. I'll then tap where it says device name and change this to current appearance. Then we'll tap this suggested next action labeled if, and then tap where it says current appearance. We'll then tap here where it says dark mode is on. 
Then we'll close that and search for another action, this time searching for focus and select the set focus option that comes up. We'll change do not disturb to dark mode and then leave off as is. And then we can long press and drag that underneath that first if statement. Finally, we'll search again for the focus shortcut and select that, drag that below the otherwise statement and then change do not disturb to dark mode and switch off to on. So to explain this a little further, whenever we toggle this change theme shortcut, it'll check whether the system dark theme is on or off. And if it's already on, it'll turn our focus mode off, therefore also triggering that automation we previously set up. But if the system dark theme is off, it'll then turn our focus mode on, again, triggering that dark mode automation. So to test it in action, let's run the shortcut and then come back home to watch it. And wouldn't you know, it's working very nicely. I'll now open the shortcuts application again and run the shortcut once more to check that it works both ways. And as you can see, again, it's working beautifully. I've then got that particular shortcut as one of the widgets in this widget stack I have set up here. So it's hidden and out of sight, but also available within one swap. And I know this entire process might seem pretty ridiculous and involved, but as far as I can see, there isn't an easier way to set this up. And so there you have it an awfully convoluted, but pretty damn cool workaround to getting multiple home screen setups that switch automatically. And to be completely honest, as far as I'm aware, this isn't even something you can do on Android. Yes, you can change the wallpaper and theme on a schedule or with the press of a single button, but entire home screen setups, including widgets and icons, I don't think that's possible. So whilst my use case might be pretty simple, I could see this being really powerful depending on how you set it up. Either way, if you found this video helpful, then a sub would be greatly appreciated. But that's it. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will catch you later.